Okay, this is probably the most unscientific bath bomb testing you're ever going to see. Um, I made these. Um, they are uh, made with non-SLSA foaming. And these were made with SLSA foaming. Now, in each of them, I didn't measure how much of the foaming that I put in. So, you know, right off the bat, it's going to be different. I did try to get ones that were similar in size. These are not exact. There's, this one's bigger, but they did come from the same mold. But because I did the two different colors on this one, uh, it's that's what I was more worried about than I was on this one. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same water temperature, same water amount. I'm going to try to have as many control issues that I can. And I'm going to also weigh out how much bath bomb of each I put in. Now, the only thing that isn't controlled is the thing that I'm testing, which is the amount of foaming. So we'll just see if we could get close. Okay, because they're different sizes, I mean, they're, they're close, but they're not exact. Um, well, actually, let me see how exact they are. 4.6 and 3.9. So, yeah, the 7 ounces, uh, 0.7 ounces difference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break off, I'm going to break them up. And first I'm going to put my water in. I'm going to put... I have the water running so that it's at the hottest temperature and my water gets very, very hot. So um, I thought that that would be a good uh, control. And I'm going to put the uh, exact amount of water in each one. Believe it or not, using my giant implement of destruction, I was actually able to cut these in half rather cleanly and two halves came out to one half on each one came out to two, 2.1. So if you ever want to see the inside of a bath bomb, there it is. Okay, so I think that I'm going to put, this is the one with the SLSA. I'm going to put it in here. And this is the one with the non-SLSA. I'm going to put it in here. Well, they're both fizzing. I'm going to put the light on. That's nice foam there going on with the non-SLSA. And, huh, it's actually less foam going on with the SLSA. I mean, if nothing else, they're equal, but I actually think the non-SLSA, and I know I didn't put that much in. I mean, I recorded this, so I usually put in much more. Huh. This is actually pretty awesome, this, uh, this amount of foam. And fizzing. I mean, this is this is going well. And I like that you, the calendula is in there. Really nice. And this, I mean, they both have butters and they both have have infused oils. You know, I tend to make my bath bombs sort of the same way. Um, I don't know if there's anything really different about this new one except the foaming. I don't want to do this in the tub because I would probably have to uh, fill. I mean, that would be wasting a lot of water. Okay, so this is. Let me let me swirl this around. So when you swirl it around, it makes nice foam. Now let's swirl around this one. This one. I mean, I can't do a feel test. Um, that I mean, this this one actually feels. I don't know if that's the foaming, but they should have pretty similar oils and butters in them. So this is the non-LSLSA, and this is the SLSA. I think there's a little bit more fizzing going on here with less foaming. This one is continuing to foam. I don't know if you can see it. I mean, it's 
Let me see if I can hold this up. I mean, that's a good amount of foam. Let me see this one. See, this one, the foam seems to be sitting up less. I mean, I know they're not the same size, but that's, that's quite a bit of difference. Let's see if I can get a shot of this. Okay, that's the level of foaming. I want to say, and that is, there is definitely less foam on the SLS Day. I'm kind of surprised. And look, they are, they are sort of the same. They are sort of the same size around. The depth at the bottom might not be the same, but still, I mean, that's that one. Let me take this one off. And that's that one. Yep, I'm definitely liking the non-SLSA. There you go. And that is more expensive, so, you know, if, if non-SLSA means something to you, um... I mean, I'm sure that I put less of this in than I normally put in of the SLSA. So, because norm, I, I wasn't sure how it was going to work, so I just kind of sprinkled it in there. I did the video so you guys could see it. And if I, I'm trying to be fair to both of these. Okay, so then, this one feels more like a froth than bubbles. This one feels a little bit more like bubbles. So I'm trying to be fair. I mean, they both have, I assume they both have their their benefits and their drawbacks. But that's it. That's, that's the fizzing, foaming, non-LSA test. Hope you enjoyed it.